Hello world and uh, welcome to the first English edition of NHTV or Nordic Hardware Television with me Jonas Klar or Mean Machine as some of you might know me better as. In front of me I've got two H67 motherboards and uh, not just any H67 motherboards for the 1155 socket but they're from Asus and Zotac and uh, when I say they're from so uh, we've got a motherboard from Zotac uh, you know it's mini ITX because they only make mini ITX motherboards so both are mini ITX motherboards for Sander Bridge which should mean you get can get a lot of performance in a small format and uh, they're both pretty feature packed as well so we're gonna have a closer look at those this is uh, the Asus P8H67i and uh, yeah, it's got a suffix as well, it's Deluxe, so it's the P8H67i Deluxe. And uh, as the name implies, it's got an H67 chipset, which is right underneath here. And it's, uh, of course, based on the 1155 socket, which is there. It's uh, never looked so big in this small format. Uh, we've got a PCI Express x 16 slot. We've got the DDR3 SO DIMM, which is uh, an odd choice, but yeah, of course, it's a small small motherboard, small format, so you gotta save save space. And Asus have done this uh, by yeah, using DDR3 SO DIMM, which is widely available and uh, yeah, costs about the same as uh, full DDR3 DIMMs. Uh, and uh, they say they've used uh, that spare place, uh, spare, spare space they've uh, created uh, to fill up with a beefier VRM for the CPU. And uh, yeah, judging by that, it's a, it's a pretty, Pretty big VRM, gotta say. It's a three-phase one, uh, from what I can see from here, at least. And uh, it's, uh, I say it should be should perform as well as the bigger brothers, as the P67 Deluxe motherboard, uh, since it's part of the Deluxe family, anyways. Uh, other than that, we've got two SATA 2 and two SATA 6 gig per sec ports up here. Uh, we've got a USB 3 front panel connector uh, up here. Uh, which is quite near the front panel in most most mini ITX cases and uh, there's always something I forget uh, we got the mem ok button for those of you who can't get your <laughs> SO DIMMs working and uh, yeah that's about it for the motherboard itself uh, apart from the Wi-Fi card of course which is mini PCIe and it's wireless N so 300 megs a sec is uh, 300 megabit per sec, not me megabytes. Uh, other than that, we got the uh, RP SMA connectors for the wireless back here. Uh, two connectors with uh, ASUS bundles and uh, antennas, of course. We got a PS2 port for both uh, keyboard and mouse. We've got two USB 2. Uh, we've got HDMI, we got optical out for your audio. We've got uh, VGA, we got DVI. Uh, they also include Bluetooth, which is uh, an interesting choice. Uh, quite fun to have, of course and uh, quite rare to see. Uh, it's also present on the P8P67 Deluxe, the full-size one. We got two additional USB 2 ports and eSATA. Uh, we've got USB 3 times 2 and uh, a LAN port and stereo sound in and out. So that's basically the P8H67i from the upside. We're gonna take a look at the, the bottom of it as well. Checking out bottoms can always be fun, but when it comes to motherboards, it's usually uh, pretty unnecessary because there's not much going on at the back. But uh, in this case, uh, since we're looking at mini ITX motherboards, uh, there is. Uh, namely, yeah, well, there's lots of components on the back side anyways, because, yeah, you gotta save, you gotta use up all the space you can, because it's such a tight form factor. Uh, but we see here that ASUS has uh, incorporated uh, a few nifty touches among which uh, the screws are one at least i mean they say it's a deluxe motherboard uh, and they got certainly treated as a deluxe motherboard because all their nice motherboards have their vrm cooling screwed into place uh, and yeah they've done the same with this one even though it is a small one so that's a nice touch but don't know if that's extremely useful and uh, all we can say is that it's not as cramped as the Zotac we're gonna have a look at soon. The Zotac H67 ITX Wi-Fi isn't radically different from, from the ASUS board, but there are a few differences uh, which might work out to the Zotac's favor. For starters, uh, we've got full-size DDR3 slots, which uh, in my opinion is better because even though the prices are the same, uh, I usually don't have 
uh, DDR3 SODIM lying around at home. In fact, I've never had any DDR3 SODIM, not even in my laptops, because I only use performance computers. Uh, so uh, that's a plus for Zotac, I, I, I'll, I'll give that up. But uh, other than that, we've got the mini PCIe uh, Wi-Fi card, which is the same as ASUS, wireless N, uh, two antennas. And uh, another difference from the ASUS board is uh, the use of six SATA ports in total. Two of them are SATA 6 gig per sec and uh, two, four of them are SATA 2, which means you got two more ports to play with. Uh, if you have a really roomy mini ITX case, you can fill up with lots of disks or whatever. Uh, so uh, the VRM is, uh, has a pretty beefy cooling as well. Uh, it uh, should be enough in for the quite cool Santa Bridge CPUs anyways. Uh, another nice touch uh, is that Sotec uses a clear CMOS button, uh, but to find that you gotta open your case and push there every time, which might prove a bit tricky if you have a small case. Uh, but yeah, you probably shouldn't use that too many times, you shouldn't need to use that too many times. Uh, checking the, the outputs, uh, we've got PS2 uh, for mouse and keyboard, uh, two USB 3 ports, which is nice, of course, um, same as the ASUS, two of them. Uh, we've got uh, HDMI and DisplayPort, which, yeah, it's, it's DisplayPort anyways, it's there, you can do anything about it. Two uh, antenna connectors for your Wi-Fi uh, and uh, DVI. We've got four more USB 2 ports uh, and uh, eSATA and uh, LAN port. Uh, and uh, we've got full 5.1 analog audio and a optical output and optical output for your audio if you wish to use that instead. So all in all, it looks pretty good. And uh, let's have a look at the bottom of the motherboard. When flipping over the Zotac board, we can see there's lots of more space being used than on the ASUS board, uh, mainly because uh, Zotac uses uh, DDR3 slots that are full sized instead of the SODIMs that ASUS use. Uh, so Zotac has to make use of all the space that's left even more efficiently than ASUS and uh, Yeah, there's lots of components, but we think they've uh, sort of pulled it off because we use lots of these uh, small High performance capacitors don't know what they're called uh, this week depends on the manufacturer of course, but all in all uh, They're pretty good. I know that from the looks of them and uh, just like ASUS uh, Zotac also screws their VRM cooling into place here and there's two additional screws for the uh, Wi-Fi connector, Wi-Fi antenna brackets. Comparing the bundle for the motherboards, I thought we'd start off with ASUS, which is to the right in the screen. Uh, we got the motherboard, of course. Uh, we have uh, these uh, Wi-Fi antennas. Uh, there's two of them. There's a wire, so you can put them on your table and just uh, flick the antenna up and it uh, stays up like that. Uh, nothing really fancy. We got an I.O. shield, of course, quick start guide, a user manual and a DVD with obsolete drivers and such. Uh, and then we got two SATA cables, uh, which is 90 degrees angled in one end and uh, straight forward in the other one. Uh, checking the Zotac bundle, uh, you immediately see there's a lot more stuff. We got a DVD with drivers, a uh, quick start guide, uh, warranty information and a user's manual, we got the I.O. shield, a uh, extender for the 4-pin CPU power, we've got a, a bracket for USB 3, uh, which is a fun addition, uh, quite nifty, and uh, if, you, if your mini ITX chassis isn't uh, a full profile, you got a low profile bracket as well included, uh, which is a nice touch. Uh, antenna cables or antennas for uh, the Wi-Fi. Uh, the, the type you just screw it on and leave at the back of the chassis, which uh, is not as good as the ASUS way, probably, but still, they're antennas. And uh, a DVI to VGA adapter, since there's no, no uh, analog connectors, and four SATA cables. Having had a close look at the ASUS P8H67i Deluxe motherboard and the Zotac H67ITX Wi-Fi, uh, we're uh, trying to conclude something here and uh, uh, from what we've seen obviously the Zotac bundle is bigger if that's worth something to you uh, it's got worse uh, cable, worse antennas we could conclude that because ASUS has these you can wire to the top of your table for better reception uh, but then again the bundle is bigger you get the USB 3 bracket which is nice addition uh, you get the uh, 
extension cable for the 4-pin CPU power. Um, and uh, the motherboards themselves aren't all too different, but there are a few subtle differences, such as uh, the SO DIMMs on the ASUS board and the full size DIMMs on the Zotac. Uh, for me, that's 1 nil to Zotac. Uh, ASUS has Bluetooth, Zotac doesn't, as one all. Uh, so the final tiebreaker is probably if uh, you check at the SATA ports. Uh, Zotac has six of them in total for SATA 2 and uh, two SATA 6 gig per sec, uh, whilst ASUS only has two of each. So yeah, they're both just about priced the same, uh, about 115 euros in Sweden, I think. Uh, so it should be around 50 euros in the rest of the civilized world because we've got the worst taxes ever. But uh, other than that, uh, I think uh, Zotac has a slight edge uh, connectivity-wise, uh, except the Bluetooth. So uh, the ASUS has beefier VRMs for the CPU, uh, should be more stable in the long run, they say. Uh, but I don't, I wouldn't read too much into that because the Zotac VRM looks pretty beefy as well. So. Whichever you choose for, whichever you go for, uh, you, you can't really make a bad choice. They're both good motherboards, and since they're both H67, you can't overclock them, which is boring. But yeah, that just makes it more, more fair, because you just have to look at the connectivity options, and I think Zotac is slightly ahead in this, in this case. So in the future, if you appreciate NHTV, we will do more editions in English. So just let us know at feedback at nhtv.se, which is also viewed in the credits. So yeah, until next time, thank you and see you soon.